Hi, David Cohen here with you. Good afternoon. I'm just going to share my screen here for a second. I'm really excited to be previewing uh, and giving you a little taste of uh, what's coming up in November. I'm really happy to be part of the um, Mississauga Business Enterprise Center's webinar series. I'm going to be delivering it in November, November 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th, uh, 7 o'clock till about 8 o'clock every Wednesday night. And it's the six step sales process that we're doing or the midweek sales clinic. I really hope you can join us. Today I just want to give you a little teaser um, about what you might learn. One of the things I'm really um, really keen on when I start the sales process is I really want to get clear as to who am I going to call on, what kinds of clients, uh, what kinds of people do I want to work with. So I really want to make sure that I've got my ideal client profile um, established in terms of who do I group with? Who do I like to work with? What kinds of characteristics do I look for? Do they respect me? Are they fun to work with? Are they enjoyable? Are they open-minded? These are a few criteria that are important. Also, do they have the budget, right? You want to, you, you know, you want to make some money. Um, so, and then, you know, maybe if you're a B2B, you're selling business to business, what kinds of industries do you want to work with as well? That's going to be really another critical piece in terms of developing your ideal client list. And once I've developed my list, um, I want to know too, do they have a need for my product or service? Do they use it? Are they using somebody already? Would they be open to an alternative supplier? These are some really critical points that I want to make sure going in. I also want to do a little bit of um, homework, and I'll talk about that next week but I wanna see what's going on in their world, right? So I do a little bit of research. So when I do have a sales or a business or a marketing conversation with a client, I know something about them. I know what maybe a challenge they might be going through is, and that then I can kind of come at a discussion with them, a first time discussion with some ideas and solutions that, that will help them achieve what they want to achieve. So that's something else I also focus in on. And, and get clarity on so that's really important the next thing that is also really important is know yourself know your value right and so value there's a value equation I, I teach and I will be teaching and the value equation is it's the sum of your benefits minus cost equals value so what are your benefits well there's four key benefits to bear in mind one is what are the benefits of your product so what does your product do for people right um, so a really good example of a, a, a product that's loaded with uh, benefits is spinach, believe it or not. It's got free antioxidants, which helps prevent cancer in both men and women. It's got vitamin K, which is good for your eyesight. It's also uh, a green superfood. It's nutritious. Popeye loved it. If you remember the, uh, the Popeye cartoons from the, the 60s, um, I, I, I saw repeats. Not to worry, I'm not that old. Uh, anyway, uh, spinach is a, pro is, a, is a product that's loaded with benefits. The next area is if you've got a service, what are the benefits to the client by using your service? And a really good example of a service that's got lots of benefits is FedEx. They even used that, that in their slogan a few years ago. When you've got to get a package to another community or city or place, you're going to ship at FedEx. And they were so confident about their service their slogan was, when it absolutely positively has to get their next day delivery or else, you're going to send it FedEx, right? And if it really matters, you will. You'll pay that price. So remember, if you show enough benefit, cost doesn't matter so much. The next benefit area that you want to be mindful of is, um, is, is what's the benefit of your, uh, the relationship benefit. So what's the relationship people have in their mind when they think of you? So you really want to work on that. And that's really about good service and about honing in on how you help people and how you stand apart from your competitors. And a good example of that was TD Bank a few years ago. Um, you know, we all, you've heard the, the expression banker's hours. Well, that meant, oh, you're getting off work early, huh? Right? So TD Bank changed that relationship that you, the consumer, had in your mind about bankers hours and they remember the two old guys sitting outside the branch going hey what time is it hey, hey it's 8 7 30 what's the bank doing open at 7 30 at night or it was open on saturdays or sundays too which is really 
at that time was unheard of. And now we get to count on TD Bank to deliver that. We now can count on them to have a relationship with them, knowing that they're open late at night and on weekends too when we need them to be open for us. So if you're working till six and your bank closes at four, you're out of luck, but TD Bank, not so much. Another really good example of another benefit, and this is the last of the four that you need to sort of focus in on, is what's the benefit of your brand? Now, as small business owners, that's a little tougher to do and work on, but you can. You can begin to work on it. Just make sure your look, the feel, the quality of what you're doing in your company um, really uh, enhances your brand. Um, a really good example of a brand benefit is Heinz Ketchup. They're so confident of their brand that their slogan a few years ago was, Heinz, there are no other kinds. Yet if you go to the grocery store, there's about four or five other kinds of ketchup that you can buy. However, it's pretty rare that when you go to the grocery store, you're going to be buying another brand other than Heinz, right? So just be mindful and be aware of the benefits of your um, offering, either your product, service, relationship, or brand, and get clear as to who makes up your ideal client and develop your ideal client list. I like to start with 50, and then I begin the process of marketing to them. And it takes nine to 12 contacts just to get yourself in the door and get things going with a, a client. Whereas a lot of entrepreneurs stop at four, four contacts. Why? Because the pain of rejection is too great, right? And, and it's like, uh, what am I bothering for? They'll never call me back. Well, you don't know that. Maybe they just don't need you right now, you know? And we'll, we'll get to all that in our four week webinar series starting November 6th with the Mississauga Business Enterprise Center. I really hope you can uh, come on board. Um, I'm sharing the screen, so there you go. You can uh, just log in there and uh, get more information and register for the webinar series. And um, I'll have more tips over the next few weeks. All right, so have a beautiful day and a good week. I'll do another one of these next week, and we'll see you then. Bye for now.